Hi, and welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 5. Today we're going to cover some more descriptive statistics, and then we're going to look at some special spatial topics, topics that concern spatial data. What have we seen so far? We've seen a few ways that we can describe a data distribution. First of all, we've looked at central tendency, where we covered the mode, median, and mean. And then we looked at dispersion, where we looked at range, interquartile range, variance, standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. There are two more commonly described characteristics of distributions. Those are skewness and kurtosis. Skewness is a measure of the degree of symmetry in a distribution, where symmetry is the quality of being made of exactly similar parts around the axis. In the case of skewness, we care about the symmetry with respect to the mean of the distribution. So skewness is an equation that can be positive, negative, or zero, depending on whether or not the, the lack of symmetry occurs due to more events on the right side, the left side, or if there's no lack of symmetry at all. Here's the case where skewness equals zero. In other words, we have a symmetric distribution. The left half of the distribution is the mirror image of the right half. In this case, we should find, at least in the theoretical case, that the mean of the distribution is equal to the mode and it's equal to the median as well. And an example that we're going to see that is perfectly uh, symmetric is the normal distribution. We will learn about the normal distribution for a few weeks' time, but keep in mind that it's symmetric. The second case for skewness is when the skewness statistic is positive. In this case, there are more observations below the mean than there are above the mean. But the mean is being pulled to the right by the tail because there are a few high-valued observations on the right-hand side of this distribution. The third case is negative skewness. Here, there are actually more observations to the right of the mean, but the distribution tails off to the left and the mean is less than the median because it's being pulled to the left by a few but very low-valued observations in the left-hand tail. Here are three distributions. Let's think about whether or not these distributions are skewed. We're going to do that by calculating the mean and median of these three distributions, seeing whether or not the mean is the same as the median, or if it's less than or, e or greater than the median, and therefore concluding that uh, something about the skewness of the distribution. In the first case, we have the mean value of this distribution equal to 3. The mode, sorry, the median of this distribution is also equal to 3. 3 is the middle value. So, so mean equals median, and this implies skew s equals 0. So there's no skew. It's a symmetric distribution. How about in the second case? In the second case, the mean is equal to, and I'll just do it in my head, 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 divided by 5. That's equal to roughly, well, it's equal to exactly 2.4. This is going to be less than the median, which is equal to 3. When the mean is less than the median, it means we have negative skew. So s is going to be less than 0. Now let's look at the last case. Here the mean is equal to 17 over 5, which is equal to 3.4, which is greater than the median. The median, again, the middle value is still equal to 3. And this implies that the skewness is going to be positive. Skew is, being, skew is greater than zero. There's some high-valued positive number pulling the distribution to the right. In the second case, there was a low-valued negative number pulling the distribution to the left. 